Hello, hello, Phil Jones here. And man, I'm excited to be with you, but like, only kind of with you, right? I'm through a lens. I wish that we could all be in the same place at the same time right now, but the world has changed a little. See, I've spent the last 20 years of my life helping businesses navigate change, and more importantly, helping them navigate the critical or crucial conversations that show up in their day-to-day -day environment and help them navigate that change towards the better. So as we think about change and changing environments, I have a simple ask of you. And the ask of you is this, is um, do people like change? Think on that for a second, do people like change? Now my experience in that is that people are pretty darn uncomfortable with change. And let's just check this out for a second, let's test it. Do me a quick favor and, and fold your arms for me. Just fold your arms for me. Like, um, no, not that way. Fold them like the, the other way. And it is just freaking weird, right? Like that is one of the most simple of changes that I could ask you to make, yet still that alone is uncomfortable. So when we think about the changes that happen in our world, whether it's changing the environment, changing the way we communicate, asking somebody to change the product that they prescribe for somebody, I don't care what the change is, more often than not, people are gonna resist that change and find that change in some way uncomfortable. So when it comes to navigating change, we have a handful of choices and one of the most powerful weapons we have for navigating that change are the words we use in the key moment, is how we go about conversing with others. And the power of conversation is hugely underlooked. Conversation exists in spoken word, conversation exists over the telephone, conversation exists in Zoom meetings, conversation exists even when we type. And if you change your words, you can change your world. How do you go about doing that? In this short video, in some of the work that we're gonna to do together, is I'm gonna teach you a simple framework, three critical ingredients that go into almost any conversation if your goal is to help somebody navigate change. And these three critical ingredients are more imperative right now than they ever have been before. So please, please, pretty please, pay attention to this short video. Grab yourself a notepad, get ready to be able to take notes. I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I have a notepad here to be able to share this simple framework with you. And how does this framework work? Well, I'll share it with you real quick. Is, well, if I'm thinking of a framework that is solid, um, I'm probably gonna look for a stable shape. So why don't we kick off by saying stable shape, we're gonna reach for, let's say a triangle. Triangle solid foundation and then what are the three ingredients that go into this that allow us to be able to navigate more of these complex conversations? Well going into any conversation the first ingredient that we must always start with is one of curiosity Behind curiosity comes the ingredient of empathy and following empathy is one of courage Courage is the missing ingredient. So we've got three critical ingredients. Okay, Phil, that sounds like it's a wonderful noise. What do you really mean? Well, the reason to start with curiosity is our goal is to create certainty, right? Certainty is the goal that we're reaching for. Yet if I show up with certainty in any form of conversation, I create curiosity. If I show up with curiosity, I'm more likely to create certainty. What do I mean by those principles even more so? Is quite often we have a huge amount of content, whether that's content about how good our product is, whether that's content about the industry, whether that's content about our opinion, and we want to insert that content into the other person's psyche. Here be a reality though, is content without context is just noise. What does that mean that we're looking to be able to do is we're looking to ask questions to be able to get them to share with us their current situation and curiosity helps us understand where they're at and our curiosity creates certainty in their mind that we get it. Following curiosity, that next step of empathy is often the, 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 the big missing ingredient in so many sets of circumstances right now. Why is empathy so important? It's because nobody gives a damn about what you think. Like nobody. What is empathy though? Probably the best definition of empathy that I've ever heard is from a speaker friend of mine called John Acuff who says empathy is nothing more than caring about what the people you care about care about. Hmm, let's sit on that for a second. Caring about what the people you care about care about. Why is that so important? 
See, there isn't anybody sat in a medical provider that thinks what is missing from my life today is what you've got. They have a whole host of different problems, a whole host of different challenges, a whole host of different obstacles. And your job is to be able to see the world through their eyes. Why? Because your goal in this is to become relatable. See, if what happens is somebody sees that you have knowledge and understanding of their circumstances as well, if not maybe better than they do, they will then trust you with the solution. Only then. Your ultimate goal in showing up with empathy is to hit a very special button in the other person's world. And the button I'm asking you to search for is a button called the show me that you know me button. If you can trigger the show me that you know me button, if you've done enough work to be able to genuinely see the world through their lens and your communications come across in a way that the other person goes, dang, you get me, then guess what? Every communication will carry more weight. And what about this courage piece? What do I mean by courage? Well, I'm not talking jump out of an aeroplane courage. I'm not talking climb a mountain courage, go to war type courage. I'm talking the courage to be able to ask one more question. Ask one more question. Finish this sentence for me. If you do not ask, then you do not get or you do not know. Yet still many of us fail to ask for the things that we want in our life, whether that's asking for the order, whether that's asking who they work with currently, whether that's asking why they work with that person currently right now, whether it's just digging one more deep a layer into a conversation, we fail to do that because we fail to have the courage to do so. Yet if we show up with that right level of courage, then what happens is we create action. If we are prepared to be able to ask for the things that we want in our life is we create action action, which is our ultimate goal. What might the action be? Them choosing us, choosing to be able to deliver our products in samples, choosing to learn some more, choosing to be able to commit to us as the preferred product for that given set of circumstances. Those choices are the things that we are the catalyst for and being the catalyst for that change means that in every single circumstances, we need to start with curiosity, move to empathy, and then trigger a big ask with the courage to be able to do so. When you watch any masterful debate, any masterful communication that delivers impact and results, those three critical ingredients will always be present. So what is my ask of you right now? My ask is simple. It's to start thinking about your key critical communications. When you're writing an email to a prospect, are you showing up with some curiosity first or are you just pushing the information out that you have? Do you lace in enough empathy to every one of your communications to say, I'm going to see the world through your eyes? And what that means is that your products, your services, your solutions need to deliver a result that is better, easier, faster, more profitable, more efficacy than any of their existing solutions, only providing if they've said those things are important. Here is a goal to show that you have empathy. Is before making any recommendation to anybody, Use these words first. The words you can use first are the words because of the fact that you said. Because of the fact that you said that your patients are always your number one priority, it's for those reasons that I'd recommend that you utilize our product in this category because so many people would describe it as best in class without the side effects of insert competitor. Because of the fact that you said. What that does is it means that you have the empathy and here's this courage piece. What can you be doing right now to ask more of others? So my invitation to all of you watching this video right now is so, so simple. Think about all of your communications outside of work. Think about your communications inside of work and ask yourself, are you baking in these ingredients? Are you making your conversations count or are you just counting your conversations? And when you think about it, you learn that the worst time to think about the thing you're gonna say is in the moment when you say it. So you get ready, 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 and you make all of your critical conversations count more. So what's up next? This is just a sprinkling of what you can experience in our work together. But what I've helped, uh, what I've learned also really, really helps you have confidence in conversation is that you know what it is that you're talking about. This knowledge leads to confidence. This confidence impacts your experience. This also goes on to be able to provide you to show up with more of that empathy when you're speaking to people because you know what it is you're talking about. You're an expert in the problem that your product solves.
and to help you grow your level of expertise, to help you understand what it is that you are really, really gonna be talking to your customers and prospects about, we have a fantastic training session where what you can do is you can learn more about the impact that our products have and how that you can talk about this with increased levels of confidence. See you again soon.